Let's talk about some Stoke Challenge. The Stoke, the Stoke, Stoke Challenge. The Stoke, Stoke Challenge. Stoke Challenge. Ah. We've talked about Stoke Challenge in the past, in previous episodes. Um, and we kind of talked about like the premise. Like My idea of the Stoke Challenge was you know, skating an hour a day. Um, uh, you know, kind of making it like, ooh, can I, how many days in a row can I skate an hour a day? I don't know, like, a whole lot about, like, your skate habits before you started coming Dude, to the shop. Dude, I was a, I'm a, I'm a. But, like, if there's any one person that could, like, like, offer some insight into some old crotchety dudes like me, or some <laughs> jilted young dudes like Aaron, like, like, what, how do you, like, did you What's skate? My well, no. My well, did you well, skate beforehand like you skate? Meeting you guys? Yeah. Um, you know, so, I was always the kid that, you know, I don't, I don't drive. Like, I, I, yeah. I drive, but <laughs> yes, you know, I like, know I don't drive. I drive you where so, you like, need to go. Yes, I know. Like home. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Aaron. Thank you. Um, but no, I started skating like for fun. I was like, I got, I was street skating. Uh, my buddy. Got me into it, but I've always like my. Where were you was, at when you street skated? When I when I started skating, I was in Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania, what I got, part of Pennsylvania? Mm, you know, I didn't know you I couldn't Pennsylvania. freaking tell. I've got. I had my. You couldn't first tell board. us at all. No, when was that? Was my first board, but I was like always pivoting and like I learned how to pivot really young. And so it's like, a good. That's a good. That's actually yeah. and at Stoke so, Clinic. Yeah, at Stoke really Clinics with street skateboarders. I'm like, look, if there's one thing that I could, like, start you off on that'll help you with anything else you do is the pivot. Like, yeah. No, the, for the real. The tic-tac and the pivot. Like, the tic-tac and the pivot, yeah. And then, so, like, I was in Pennsylvania, but, like, I always grew up with a board in my house. So, it's always been like that. But then from there, I, um, like, honestly, I had a long board. I've always, I've learned to slide just because I wanted to learn to slide. And so, I've done, like, double, like, I learned my own t- double puck down stuff. And then, like, uh, like, my Coleman's on my own. Or, but like other than that, I really started coming out and skating like I do now. The start of quarantine, just because I was like, well, I'm gonna like quit. I, I mean, I got laid off or whatever. I was serving, and so it's like, all right, cool. Well, I'll just go skate. And I, I started skating like tw- I'd sk- I, it started with like what I think, 14 miles. The next day, I came home and was like demolished. I was like, all right. Yeah. I was ta- I talked to my buddy Marcos. Who's like I was like wow, bro, like fuck, <laughs> like I never want to do that again. And then like the next day, I was like, Little I woke you up. Know, he wanted. And, dude, I woke up so stoked to skate. I was like, let's go push like off to Redbridge. He caught a whole. You were avoiding the Rona and caught a whole different kind of like dude, I, abuse. I pushed <laughs> no, and then like I, it was like day, I would skate like every other day. Like I would take, I would literally go skate all day one day go home like and i'd be pushing like big miles i'd push out here and like skate one day the next day i would which you live sleeping and you live like grandview belton yeah well now i live in belton but i was living in grand right so that's that is like it was really really cool like when i found out that you had pushed all the way out here oh yeah i was like i was like that's 25 miles so that means 12 and a half miles puts them right to alex george and i'm like bro you can skate from your house and meet me at Alex George in the morning and do 75s back to your house. Like, bammo. Yeah, was, I remember before. So even you, now, I think even now I still can. That's and, awesome. And, like, look, if you got stories like that and you're like, this is like, I witnessed Julian's firsthand. Like, you know, we talk about qualifiers and stuff like that. Like, if, dude, you, if no. you're out and skating with us on Friday nights and I can mm-hmm. see how you skate, like, I Qualifier is just like, hey, let's make sure you can skate this kind of thing. Yeah, um, and like honestly, it started with me. It started with really just wanting to do garages, and being a broke eighteen year old yeah, who didn't have a car who I just wanted to go skate with some friends. Yeah, because so, I remember before meeting you, yeah. like straight up, I just saw on Facebook, you're like, yo, I just go like forty miles out here to do garages. What's up? I'm like, <laughs> I'm out here, bro. I'm like, yeah, okay. but no, that night, I, and then we, <laughs> then you came out to skate garages with us. I'm like, dude, this dude knows how to skate. Like, dude, that day he starts off. Pushing all the way from where he lives to Kansas City just to skate garages, gets here and skates garages with us like a motherfucker. Like holy hell! Oh yeah, I was I so do. impressed. I'm like, all right, this Who kid's this gonna be fun like to that? skate with. This Who dude is, is gonna be so much fun to skate with. <laughs> we, didn't, oh my God. we didn't have to teach you anything. You already yeah. like had most like there was some stuff that you were like, hey, what's up with this? And that's like super super sick. But like, dude, you came out of nowhere with stuff. Dude, honestly. Um, yeah, I know. I mean, like, but that day I had skated out, like, I left my house 
at one o'clock, got out here by three, and then waited for you guys skating the entire time until nine. Yeah. And then went and skated with you guys. Yeah. And I was like, dude, whoa. I, dude, I was and like, honestly, okay, I got yeah. home. This uh, I think it was my first skate trip. Caleb drove me home. Nice. And, um, bro, I got home and I was like, I can't wait to do that again. Because it was so much fun. And then, you, and then the garage <laughs> yeah. shut down. Yeah. And then we skated them so hard, the garage just stopped. <laughs> <laughs> You know, sometimes. I mean, what so we don't high. we don't go to garages and skate them. What are you? What are you? No, I, not a, I mean, we back. haven't been. I used I've to. Been to I garages. used to. No, Thank you. I've never look, done that. look. Regardless of us doing or not doing them, security guards were hired at the exact same times that people did or did not do come around here to skateboard, and those guys should be thanking us with at least a, thanking the people that started this thing. With at least, we are out here making jobs, dude. That's a good point. We're freaking creating. We're jobs. job creators. <laughs> You're welcome. So let's be honest. We You're are welcome. We're providing a service for Look, people. Look, if think. if we okay. weren't there, you wouldn't be hired. And you know how we know that because. We were there before you were hired. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and now that you're hired, we're not supposed to do it anymore. So what happens when we stop coming? Do you think do you think they're just gonna let you keep your freaking job? No. Nope. <laughs> they're gonna fire you until we come and skate the garages some more. Exactly. And then they're gonna hire I'm you back. About them. So let us stay in the garages. That way you don't have to lie about chasing people out of the garages. We just want you to keep your job. Exactly, bro. Like I'll admit to it. We're just having fun. Anyways, Skateboarding I don't back know to about Julian. the skating garages thing. Back to Julian. Um, so, yo, got stoked about skating garages. Bro, I like garage. Bro, Side honestly, note. I wish we could keep skating them. Like, if we could do, like, a little garage sesh. Like, you know, we could hit, like, two garages. No, we can't. And then... Not anymore, man. Like, yeah. one run, you know, run, run, bounce. And then... <laughs> Go. Hey, dude. And I keep skating, but I do like the downhill... Fr- I, we need to find more downhill free ride streets. Oh, we have tons. So, like, yeah. here's the issue with downhill free ride. And this is kind of... So, and this... Dude, Julie and I, you were you were and I were talking about this last time. Or earlier today, actually, when, really? you, when you came in the shop. Yeah. Where, where I had kind of come to this... I remember now. Um, come to this, like, either, I don't know, realization or kind of a thought process, because... Look, every scene changes. People come yeah. in. People come out of that sort of stuff. Oh right? yeah. So, so like, and some of that'll play into your motivations as far as like, you know, keep staying motivated to go out and skateboard, especially if you've been skating for like a really really long time and you're 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 you want to skate more, and so you're trying to like maybe organize your skate time. I think is where where my stoke challenge like desire kind of came from. It's like I really wanted to be like, okay, I want to make sure like this is important enough for me. I want to make sure. With anything else going on, like I, I do an hour a day, and it's almost like kind of one of those things where you focus on something where maybe you don't quite you you start something with the intent to either focus your time or or with like the community. Have people come in and come out, and you want to focus. I want to focus on building a community because it's fun to skate with more people. You find 100%. one or two people you want to skate with, and then you're like, oh, that was. Freaking amazing Sick, skating yeah. with three right, people. I loved it. Holy shit, what an amazing session. Let's imagine we can get more people. And then you have Broadway Bomb and you're skating with like a thousand people. And you have this energy of like all these people from all different walks of life are coming and everyone's just freaking skating. All you're doing is just kicking a skateboard down the road. You know, and you get so pumped and you're like, oh shit, I gotta bring that back to Kansas City. And then you're like, let's all skate together. And people get so stoked to skate each other that you lose sight. Like, I feel like I've. I've like the community has done such a great job of like coming together and skating that sometimes in some cases maybe we've kind of forgot about our little neighborhood our neighborhood sessions our yeah. our stuff close by like like Julian I think you were talking about how you discovered rediscovered or like with the surf skate with the land yacht surf oh skate my God. how you were like Dude, I've got this wedge, this park, in, this driveway, yeah, in my this driveway, driveway in front bro. of your house. Yo, no, my dr- I think it's, I would say it's maybe like 15, 20 degrees. You know, at best. But like, it's like, you could fit. So it's deeper in the front my- yard, deeper in the front yard of the shop. Extreme, yeah. It's oh, like, it's, uh, dude, uh, just it's like, video, it's deeper. It's than like that, bro. It's crazy cool. But um, people haven't seen the video, bro. I mean, like, <laughs> yeah. For I mean, we could post it. That could be post a, it. That could be a stoke. Hey, it's already stoke. Oh, it's I think already that's hashtag. the only hashtag stoke clip currently. 
Um, but no, yeah, no, it's sick. And you know, when I first started, like, when I got my first, like, I got, I bought a blind, and it had the like some, street deck. Yeah, street, street deck, and it had some like um some devil on it or whatever. You know, I didn't care. Bones, bones, wheels. You know, whatever. You're talking Crux. about the the Beats by Dre board you got. Is that what that was? Because it looks like a pill. Oh yeah, it looks like a pill. It's <laughs> razor, razor tail to death. But like, that's what I really got into like hill bombing on, and like. So, like, even my driveway, but I've got that scar right there from my driveway. Like, from when I first moved here. Driveways teach lessons. That's Bro, driveways shit. teach lessons, like, and I love that driveway. The shit. It no. will tear you up. Skate gods love using that as a sacrificial altar. It's a dope little wedge, though. I like but yeah, like, like, little stuff like that. Like, I almost feel like, like, sometimes, like, I yeah. did such an obsessive, like, focus of, hey, come out here and skate, come out here and skate, come out here and skate. Like, that some people maybe have, like, like forgotten that, yo, your own neighborhoods have got these places, these glorious, and not only places, but you're talking about bringing people together? Like, dude, I made a post on KCLC earlier, and you're talking with one of our good friends, Fliff. Um, yes. Love heal Fliff. up fast, Fliff. Bro, Fliff. Mm. Yeah, good luck, Fliff. Um, Love you, bro. You're totally gnarly, yeah. freak. Mm. Anywho, and I was like, man, Fuck. like... Let's, let's, like, I bet there's so many people close by where you're at. And that's where Kansas City Longboard Community is such a cool thing because it's like, dude, it's not just about people coming to Kansas City and skating. Don't get me wrong. I love skating with people. Adore it. But, like, I think some of what maybe would help with the Stoke Challenge or, or challenging yourself to get on skate maybe is finding those little spots in your neighborhood. And I guarantee you, you start skating in your neighborhood. Excuse me. You start skating your neighborhood? <laughs> exactly. Start skating your neighborhood. Bro. Drowned out by a roar <laughs> from inside. <laughs> you start skating your neighborhood, and bro. and other people in your neighborhood will find you. And you'll be like, oh shit, I went to school with you. Oh. That was all right. Honestly, that's that was outside. Nice. Fuck those guys. <laughs> don't they know we're recording in here? What the No, hell they is, don't. Don't they understand the world revolves around us? Anyway. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> like, you, you've got these little spots, and I guarantee you've got a squad of people you wear you in your oh, neighborhood, no regardless of skill level, that you can either learn from or you can teach something to and progress oh. with. And naturally what comes from that, as you master your own home territories and turfs, and much of Kansas City is the same, then you can, like, apply that to other places. And would be super sick, like, not just a, not just 50 people <laughs> coming down. Fuck, that hurt, bro. <laughs> just bop that yourself hurt, in the bro. eye. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. Not just 50 people coming to downtown Kansas City to skate, but to say, wow... You know, I'm kind of like most of the people I skate with downtown KC like aren't around. They're on a camping trip. They're out skating Judy, whatever. Yeah. Like, oh, dude, those Independence boys are out skating the Noah Stoll Roof. Those Kansas dudes are doing a midnight run at Shawnee Mission Park. I don't know if that's a thing. I'm just if I was out there, that's what I would do a bunch of. Oh, those uh, those dudes those dudes down there over there by the Indian Creek Trail. They're doing a freaking a night run like. Dog, that'd be so much fun. It'd be sick as fuck. And like, like everybody, all the like, time, look, bro. It's all if, if every Friday night, every neighborhood had their own <clears> thing <throat> going on. Excuse me. It would just be, dude. I'm fucking goddamn. I'm <laughs> fuck. to talk, Quit burping. Dude. I want more, bro. I'm sorry. I want more skating. I want more shrop. He's like so stoking. He's so sto <laughs> Yeah, dude. Oh my god. Oh, I can't even remember where the hell I was at when the burping started. <laughs> Burping was there from the beginning. So, it's just baby. permeated you're, all You were talking trade. about... Uh, you burp a lot for a dude drinking fucking water. Yeah. You're telling Straight me, Straight up, dude. No, you bro. Way honestly, too much I'm just water. a really gassy person. I'm not gonna cap. Uh, you, you were talking about skating your own neighborhoods brings the community together. It does. where you were at. And, and, it, and it... You know, there's a diversity in the different neighborhoods, and that's, like, the whole community. You know, like, dude, if every community had their own thing going on, like, then it would be really, really crazy. I don't... You know, and people, ugh, dude, it'd be so nuts. It'd be so nuts. No, that, that's a really good perspective. Because every time I've skated around in my neighborhoods, my thought wasn't like, oh, if I see someone out, like, they might want to join and skate with me. I've always just been like, this is my mission. Like, I'm just going to go out and skate and find cool places to go. Like, I didn't even think, like, maybe there's people out there that want to skate with me. Like, that's that's a way cooler thought. Like, because I've been out and seen people out around 
But I've never, like, stopped to talk to him or anything. I've always just been like, keep going. Because usually when I go out and skate on my own, it's pretty much I'm going for like, long distance pushing. Kind like, of I'm thing. going to push. That's what I'm usually for. And to find spots to have fun at and whatnot. But for the most part, it's to go out onto a push. You see, and that's how it really started for me. Was just going out, like, no, finding like, places I would, or just pushing? I would, just I would, pushing. Just, well, I'm just pushing. Pushing. It was, like, from point A to point B. So yeah, I would, so like, pushing. push to work. Yeah. stuff, yeah. And then you just find little cool spots in between where if you've got the time you'll hit it or you'll remember out like next time you go out like boom you know exactly where to go. Exactly. Like, sesh a little spot. And that's when like I would come out. And like honestly yeah there's so many good spots in KC. There's a lot dude. It's an endless I amount. Love, like, I love And KC. dude like one person cannot in any way like organize and find all of those places. No. Yeah. No. Or a cruise. No. And every neighborhood's gonna have their own little style mm. and their own little Oh, dude, Je quoi. That's, that's why Je I miss Dakota. Quoi. Me and Dakota would go out all the time, and we would straight up just be like, "All right, how about this? I choose the first turn, you choose the next turn." And then Ooh, those games are on. fun. And straight up, we'll just go. That's how we found Exit Ramp. I know you've heard us talk about it. Before. I've heard it talked about. <laughs> I have never skated. And straight up, we we just we were at my apartment, and we were like, "Let's just go skate." You decide first turn. I decide the next. So forth, so forth. And we did that, and we found Exit Ramp. Like bam and. Oops. The rest was history. We've taken a lot of the Kansas City community out there to skate there before, and it, it's not like a crazy hill, but like it's perfect for people who just want to, who are just starting to get into like downhill or free ride. Working, skating with each other, getting Dude, closer to each other. And there's a skating. there's a flat spot where you can skate and practice some more stuff, and then there's the hill right there. It intersects. The flat spot comes this mm-hmm. way, and the hill comes the other way. So nice. you've got two spots you can work on, and it's just. I've had so much fun taking people out there. I I need to do it more often. I haven't been to Exit Ramp in like. Bro, that's how I feel about. Like year, that's how I probably, feel about dude. that one portion of ICT. Which one? Oh, like the that corporate big, woods, the one yeah. where we skate. Yeah. Oh, bro. that's a cool. That's the best. Come to Exit Ramp with me. Bro, I'll take one of the best. Ramp soon. The Even best that things. though, it, like has the. I feel like it has the ability to work into like like heel sides and toe side corners really mm-hmm. really oh, dude well. you need to come to Exit Ramp. I I, I want you need to come to Exit Ramp. I you still have It's a way longer hill. And there are there are streets that go off on left and right, yeah. so you can work on either or. That's dope. The whole way down. You mm. see, and like oh, even in my even spots. that like oh. I can walk like so up to the top of my neighborhood, and I can like skate all the way down and get like a nice thirty five mile amount mile an hour run with like a heavy pushing, and like get nice slides through it, but like. Nothing crazy where I am, but even at that, like if you leave my neighborhood, but if you think like some people can't really handle that speed, like either the board's not set up right. Or, yeah, true, and that's what I've been like. That's I've noticed that a lot. So, too. And I've been to which I've had some people from uh, Belton stuff come come through and be Belton? like, "Yo, you're Belton and Grandview." Like oh. they're all, "Hey, do you know Julian?" And I'm like, "Yeah, I know Julian." Ooh. Like I don't remember. It. Look, what the f- if if one or two <laughs> people show up and I don't, I'm not going to remember. You skate and talk name. about skating all the time. Yeah, I'm sure people though, like right. people and, and, and and people and Mountain, people have been coming up, dude. So much wild. love, man. Been, That's wild, bro. Right, been doing right the now. deal. Oh, Ooh. for sure. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, wow, man. So that's Julian. That's some Stoke Challenge thoughts. Hopefully that'll help you. You you've talked about like getting back into like. Cause, trying to do Stoke Challenge some more. Yeah, because the Stoke Challenge for me, honestly, I first started it as like a challenge. Like that's the whole idea when you first talk to me about it and using Endomondo to keep track of it. That's what oh I wanted to do. Oh my god, Endomondo was, is cool. Yeah, I was like, I wanted it to be a challenge, but then like <clears throat> a few months in, I talked about it on one of the Stoke Challenges. I don't remember which month it was, but I was like, I don't know. I thought the Stoke chat, the, the Stoke Challenge, the Stoke Challenge was more of, like, a lesson to me instead of a challenge. So I wasn't as worried about recording on Indomondo. If I was doing pushes, I would and stuff like that. But if I was going on regular skates, it was just, like, just make sure you record, like, you've been doing it for an hour and whatnot. Right. And that was nice. It kept me on a schedule. Like, I made sure every day, like, I had an hour and then quarantine hit, and that all fell apart. And I feel like part of my schedule fell apart on top of that because the one thing that kept me to holding, holding true to getting shit done was... You need to make sure that there's an hour in the day, like an hour what, a day dedicated to this. Yeah, it's like when you know that you have to have an hour a day for skating, you have to make sure things get done in a timely manner and you get them done. So you've got that hour a day because whether I like it or not, this hour a day is still play. Like it's it's yeah. it's really just play. Like, like at the I end don't play. I don't You're still need to fun. skate, but like right. it's something you I like should. doing, so I need to get the things I need done done first. 
and then I can get on to my stoke challenge. And Man. you know what? Like, what I, that's doing? what I want to get back into because damn quarantine messed that up for me. Dude, well, and honestly. Oh, man. And, like, honestly, though, like, you told me about it, what was it, last week? Yeah, it was last week. Yeah. Last Monday. And I was like, wow, that seems like a really cool idea. And, like, I've noticed, like, you know, I don't skate every day, though. Like, but, like, at the same time, like, being on the board portion of it, like, uh, one day, like, for the last, what, it was, like, two days I got, I was, like, pooped, slept all day, it was, like, not, yeah, you know, like, get out of my, yeah, I've had yeah. those days, I've had I just sleep all day, you know? <laughs> Absolutely. Or, like, say my, um, my girlfriend was over, and so, like, what I did was I stood on a board for an hour while I was playing Kandama with my kaiju. Twofer. Exactly. Yeah. Like, you're working on two things, and, like, and I like to describe my kendama. Did you see the Boo Johnson clip Sweets put out today? I no. unfortunately did not. Anyways. Um, right but, like I was saying, like, <laughs> um, yeah, and, like, just played with my kaiju all day, and I was working on both my, like, what I like to call the Switch, and just regular, you know? He's talking about kendamas, by the way. Yeah, not skateboards. What? Well, not, not anything else that you might do Switch when you're playing with all day. You know what I'm talking about. Wow. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's all wood, man. Yeah, it is all wood. <laughs> well, look, so, and, and, you know, like, talking about, like, okay, a scheduled play. Yeah. Like, that's got to be, that's, that's so huge, because I know when, like, the Rona hit, the shop blew up, we got crazy, crazy busy. We that's started. I got in. We started learning this process. To the shop. And, like, that's <laughs> when I stopped. I was like, I am too, I'm, like, in my head. Too sauce. I'm too swamped. I've got... I've, dude, I've Too much gotta things. get this taxes done. Then, then the next fire drill was I gotta get this done, and then the next fire drill was I gotta get you know this done, and like all this stuff that's gotta be super important. And like it was kind of like, and not that I'm not playing. Like I feel like one of the great things about like running a skate shop is is like even if I'm not playing skateboards, I get to build skateboards all day. So it kind of like. Works out. Kind of scratches the itch just a little yeah. bit, man. Like, kind of get a little bit. But you're playing. You're, this, you're on the adult I'm still, version. I'm still. Yeah, skateboard. it's kind of like I, I get. To, I get to still play skateboards, but it's not like I get. It's to, not your convention. And 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 I totally am super guilty of of doing Any this stupid of freaking is is, though. like adult excuse yeah. of of oh I've got work to do I've got important things to do i've got things instead of trying to be like okay let's creatively figure out a way to like work this in and i mean but it still comes back to skateboarding at the end of the day for you know no dude absolutely yeah, look, yeah. Look, it's all it's all completely about trying to skateboard more but it's like like kind of like in some ways so challenge can almost like help you recreate a little bit of like okay i'll yeah, still no, like exactly i can still get this little bit in and then and you know because dude i will be in a a shitty shitty mood most of the day oh you're until i me, get bro. to play until i get to build skateboards or talk about them and after that no nah, bro for me it's I'm like gold man. like this morning like, I, woke if I get up. to at least talk about skateboards with somebody and share that knowledge stoked i woke up super upset today until i was able to get on a on a board, I was like, oh. like, as soon as I got on the board, super happy. Ah, doesn't yeah. even matter. Anymore. Didn't, yeah, exactly. Didn't, didn't. Fade That's me. really what the Stoke Challenge is, is. I think, like, I think it just helps you into. become. No, it more helps. It helps happy. a lot. Yep. No, like straight up, because when you get on your board, it's, like you can focus. It's, it's a sense of meditating. It feels any like any it. hobby is in a way a sense of meditating because what, when you're doing said hobby, you're usually focused on that one thing, and that's clearing your head except for one idea only. Yep. So like having that hour a day was always oh, really nice. Was that? In my in my idea, it was like always like a sense of meditation. Giving like, yourself. I get out, and my only thought is what I'm gonna do on this board, what that hill's gonna be like, like. Oh, yeah. It's all was just focused on skating. Mm -hmm. and like a lot of kicked time. everything out mm -hmm. of my head, and then after that, I could think about something way more clearly. Oh, giving yourself, making sure that one more time of the day is something for fun and uplifting. <laughs> and hopefully, that inspires the people, gives you some ideas to go out and either start your stroke challenges back up, or keep doing them, or find a different way to do them. And or honestly, start if you're still time. doing them, hey, just record them. Yeah, record them. Yo, and like, if you, you feel like you have a sick line, do it. You can even hashtag Stoke Challenge on there to know that's part of your daily kind of like routine. Like, yo, I started Stoke Challenges again. Hashtag Stoke Challenge that clip on your preferred social media so we can 
watch you and shout you out. Speed of watching you. Yeah, speaking of hashtags and watching.